Hello, hi, and welcome back everybody. We are here today at Old Key West, which is an island-themed Disney Deluxe Resort as well as a Disney Vacation Club. So your home base could be here. It is an island theme resort. Um, brings the Key West theme to Disney World. But we are actually here for a particular reason. We are here to go to Olivia's Cafe for some brunch. Now I have been here in the past for um, some dinner. I did have the chicken. Um, I'm gonna say Chef Art Smith's chicken was much better. I did appreciate that better than this, but it was very good. It's a cute little restaurant, gem here at Old Key West. So when you do visit, don't forget to go to the um, the restaurants in, in the resorts themselves. So come on and follow me. So here are the, um, the times that Olivia's Cafe is open. Monday through Friday, they do serve breakfast from 7.30 to 10.30 a.m. every day. Lunch 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day. They are closed then between 2 and 3, or 2 and 5 for 3 hours it looks like. And then they have dinner from 5 to 9 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays are a little different. Brunch is from 7.30 to 2 p.m. That is why we are here. It is about 1.05, so we are within the brunch hours. And then dinner is from 5 to 9. So please make sure you make your reservations. Uh, this restaurant does tend to fill up pretty quickly. So Olivia's is located right outside of the check-in. And then they do have a general store here, Kong Flats. And then if you keep turning, there is Olivia's. This is a really great idea. So all around the walls here is a family photo album, basically of all of the members of this DVC. So it is really, really, really cute to come and look at all of the members and photo album. So this is right outside of a Kong Flats the store and B, Olivia's restaurant. So we have a great little corner seat here in the cafeteria, in the cafe, in the Olivia's cafe, but you can see the pictures do continue throughout the whole room here. And so there is seating inside and there is seating outside. One thing to note for brunch is it is not your typical lunch and dinner menus that they give you it is a whole separate menu for brunch so we will pull it up here and i will let you see what kind of items there are so just like everywhere else it does have the uh the menu on your phone so some of the items spam cheddar biscuits spam cheddar biscuits with white gravy drizzle with honey chicken and waffles um crab cake eggs benedict two poached eggs with two pan-fried crab cakes on an English muffin with key lime hollandaise. That sounds like my mom would actually really like that. Uh, they are pretty well known for their banana bread French toast, sombrero beach omelet. Waffle and eggs is actually what I got with sausage, maple syrup, and I did add one extra thing. They have your typical Olivia's breakfast. Shrimp and grits as well, which is not on a regular menu of any sort. Uh, and then you go into your veggie burger, your Caesar salad for those who are not looking for breakfast at the moment, and slow cooked prime rib as well. Um, they also do have your specialty cocktails. So some of those specialty cocktails is Key West Bloody Mary, Parrot Punch, and an eye opener and then you also can add on your brunch enhancements 
and I have actually added on my grits that I absolutely adore so I'm ready and willing to see how these grits are your conch fritters uh, because we are at a nautical themed you know they are they do have a lot of fish menu items I am not a seafood eater though by any means you can add on some extra bacon sausage turkey or ham you can add on some fresh strawberries you can have your job they have Joffrey's wine or Joffrey's coffee here they have also wines available some hard ciders they do have allergy friendly chicken and waffles your crab cakes are considered allergy friendly um, the banana bread French toast uh, for anyone who's uh, shellfish peanut or soy allergies uh, you can also always, always, of course, this is Disney, you can always um, ask for special allergy recommendations and the chef will usually come out to your table. So don't ever forget about that as well. You know, if you have a gluten allergy or a peanut allergy, the chefs do go out of their way for you at all times here. So we're just waiting on my food. So they didn't have hog juice, they didn't have the guava juice, so I actually ended up making my own concoction of just pineapple and orange juice. Still really, really fresh. Still really good. Definite. So here is my plate full of delicious yumminess. We've got over easy eggs, we've got some sausage, we've got Mickey waffles, and we've got some wonderful looking grits here. Cannot wait to try those. So I have this plate full of deliciousness and I don't know where to start yet. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to start with the Disney waffles first and give those a try. It is true what they say. Disney waffles are just better than any other waffles out there. I don't know what it is. So if you guys could tell me what it is, please do. And now for the sausage. I always like to dip my sausage in the yolk of the eggs. So I get a little bit of that as well. Mm. It's very good. They have a little bit of maple flavoring to them. Definitely very good. The eggs are, I don't think you can ever go wrong with eggs. Oh yeah. And now for the part that I have been waiting for, the grits. They're very creamy. They're very creamy. Um, but yet they're fluffy and they're light. They are very, very good. I think they're definitely a must, for sure. For sure. <clears throat> I'm not going to rank them. On the top of my list, that belongs to hospital that I used to work at in Chicago. They were just buttery and creamy and goodnessy. I think though that these these kind of rank these kind of rank pretty high. For sure. Definitely delicious. Yeah, so ask me if that was good. I'll let you know. And with that I am done for the day. So, do I recommend Olivia's? Great service. Everybody was very attentive. Food came rather very fast. Great ambiance. The nautical theme is great. The food, I don't think you could go wrong with a Mickey waffle <laughs> whatsoever. So, I did like the brunch. Um, it's a cute little restaurant. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, please don't ever oversee the restaurants that are within the resorts. If you've done all the dining already in the theme parks and you want to branch out, my suggestion is to always start 
trying the restaurants at the resorts. So something that we're going to keep doing here uh, in, the, in the upcoming vlogs. So with that, happy Sunday and bye. Bye, Mom.